Okay, special part of the wiring removal today, we're gonna to tackle the interlock system, which basically, you know, when you run the bus with school kids on it, you have to have um, all the emergency exits closed, but not locked in order for different things to happen. I think the different interlock systems are different. Sometimes it locks up the brakes so the bus won't move. Other times it actually won't start. Uh, in initial testing with this bus, the bus won't turn over. Um, when I do the key, it's a special key here. That little system right there. We have one of those both on this emergency exit on the side and also the one on the back. And so we want to make sure that we do this properly so that the bus will actually start. Uh, I haven't decided whether I want to ultimately keep them on or not. In some ways, I suppose it's a good idea. Obviously, they're for safety. Um, with only two people on the bus, it might, be not, might not be that critical. And to have extra wiring and things that could go wrong might be uh, more bother than it's actually worth. So uh, I'm going to systematically work at um, taking this off to make sure that things will work. So I've labeled these already. I labeled them kind of on the back with a Sharpie and uh, labeled the wires. And so this is the actually interlock key. So I'm just going to pull these off and see if the bus will start. So it starts, that's good news. Now I'm going to actually see if it moves to see if that brakes lock up or not. Alright, that's good. Seems to be uh, okay, so I'm going to go to the back door and do the exact same thing to make sure that everything will still run. Alright, I completely disconnected. Looks like uh, two power leads and a ground in the ground leads. Actually, three power leads and a ground lead. So we'll go back to the see if the bus starts. Okay, so we've checked the emergency exit doors, uh, the both back and the side, and so now we got to see if we can do the uh, roof latches or the roof hatches, and we got to check the windows too. So I'm going to follow the same process. From what I understand, if it's only one wire going up to the exit hatches, um, that you can just unclip them. But I'm going to do the same process. So I'm going to cut this right at the crimp, and then I'll make sure the bus can start and I'll go back to the, do the back one as well, and then we'll work on the windows. And the rear one. But I pulled the wires from the emergency roof hatches and I'm going to make sure that I label them just in case I need to put them back. Right now I want to double check the windows. Uh, so I'm going to chase these out, figure out where, exactly where I want to cut these. One thing I noticed though, I had some buzzers going off and uh, this emergency hatch here didn't close really well and I kept having that buzzer going off. So uh, if you're having issues with buzzers, double check to make sure that these close up right that that switch right there pushes in and if this doesn't latch really tight then that buzzer goes off but I'm gonna double check I don't know if I'm gonna cut it at this connection or somewhere in here but then I'll do the same thing we'll double check and start the bus to make sure that uh, everything works right so I think what I'm gonna do here is take out the entire window and disconnect the switch rather than try to cut things I think that's uh, I don't know we'll see how it goes Well, if I pull out the entire switch, I'm up to this hole here. So I think what I will do is disconnect this wire right here. 
This is disconnected. Let's start the bus. back in so I'm just going to repeat the process for the other three windows. I suppose I should restart the bus every single time but maybe I'll just do one more and I'm going to assume that the rest of them, the wiring's all the same. Okay, I've labeled all the wires, I've disconnected them all from the windows, I double checked, started the bus, and moved it a couple times just to make sure everything was working. So everything's disconnected and still working, so now I'm going to work at start pulling the wires back through the cable. Okay, we're pulling these wires back to the panel, and the good news is we've got the numbers here on the wires. Where'd that one go? Okay, I've traced the wires back through here. And he's got the same numbers on them right here. They go into this wiring harness. Uh, but I can't really unplug this entire wiring harness because these four wires go back to the brake lights and things. So I'm going to clip these off here and label them. And I'll go back, I'll put some duct tape over them now. But then I'm going to go back and shrink wrap them later on. So we'll go. I'll pull those wires back up off the top. And then we'll restart the bus again, make sure everything runs. All right, let's double check, make sure everything starts and that uh, the lights and things like that work. I guess I'd declare that victory. So a couple key points I would say uh, for me, uh, which is always a challenge to keep myself organized, go back uh, or as you're going, make sure I try to make sure that I labeled everything. And uh, after each disconnection, I would go back and check the bus, make sure it started. Uh, I probably should have done a better job checking stoplights and things like that, but uh, I did it too far before I got involved. Um, the other thing that really helped, I did blew a, blow a couple fuses going through, so it's always a good idea to disconnect the negative part of the battery, to always disconnect the negative part instead of the positive one, so you don't short, uh, you know, you don't ground it out. And uh, go through, pull one circuit, test everything, label everything, and just keep going. Uh, I know some people actually, rather than disconnect the power source, um, I've read they will just keep the bus running, so anything changes while they're going, they know. But uh, seems like a lot of bus running for that, and it's loud and uses fuel. So I just decided to check everything as we went. But um, that's how it went. Uh, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Uh, if you have any suggestions of things that you've done, and especially different interlock systems that may have different wires, and um, please post in the comments. And uh, see you next time.